In this video, I want to show you how to add some content to the different pages that you create in your OneNote notebook. Now, starting off, um, adding text is very simple. All you have to do, you can see here, I'm on the page for project meeting. All you have to do is click, and you can simply type whatever you want. So I can type, this is a heading on the page. So all you have to do is click and begin typing. You can also copy and paste text from your browser or from any kind of document that you can open up. For example, here I'm going to go ahead and open up a Microsoft Word document and I can go ahead and highlight a paragraph of text and copy it and then come back into OneNote, right click and paste. Now when I paste, I've got a few different options here. I can paste it with the source formatting. I can merge the formatting that's in the original document with whatever default formatting I have here in OneNote, or I can keep the text only. That's normally what I go ahead and do. Finally, you can paste something in as a picture rather than actually as editable text. And that's always going to be a bad option for you. So I'm going to go ahead and click Keep Text Only here, and you can see I was able to paste that paragraph into um, um, this box here. I can click somewhere else, and I can continue typing. Now, the same thing works with Microsoft Excel or with um, a web browser. If I go ahead and click on Excel here, here's a table, and I also have a chart here inside of Microsoft Excel. I can go ahead and highlight this table of information, and then I can go ahead and copy it, and then go back into my OneNote document, and click somewhere, and paste. And again, you can paste it in with the source formatting, merge, just the text, or create a picture. I'm going to say keep the source formatting, and you're going to see there I have my table. Now one thing that you're going to notice is that the formatting for the characters did translate over. You can see I've got um, a light um, gray here from my headings. These are bold. You can see the formatting on the numbers here. But when we look at our original Excel document, you can see here we've got some shading behind it. And that shading won't come over um, when you copy and paste. Let's go ahead and try the same thing, but with this chart right down here. I'm going to go ahead and click on this image, right click, and copy it. And then I'm going to go ahead and go back into OneNote. And I'm not going to paste it onto this page. I'm going to go onto another page. And all I'm going to go ahead and do is click and click Paste. And then a picture of that chart is inserted into my page. And I could do the exact same thing um, on another page with another type of graphic if I wanted to. I'm going to click New Page here and just give me an untitled page. And I'm going to go back into this Word document here. And there's a piece of clip art. I can go ahead and copy that. And I'm going to minimize that. Now I'm back in here and I can right click. And again, I can paste in any one of these formats. Since this is a picture, I'm going to go ahead and click on Picture. And now I've got that image copied over. And you're going to see it doesn't look quite as good as the original, but um, it did come over. Let's go ahead and try that a little differently. I'm going to go ahead and say Keep Source Formatting. And there we go. You can see it came over a little bit better that time. So pasting in images, text, tables, you know, it's all very simple to move information from one application to another or to copy and paste information. Let's do this one more time. I'm going to click on Word. Here's a table inside of Microsoft Word. I'm going to go ahead and copy that. And now I'm going to go ahead and right click. And I'm going to say Keep Source Formatting. And there is the table from the Microsoft Word document. So you can click and type whatever you want. You can also copy and paste information over. Now I'm going to come back up here to this area right here. You're going to see we've got a lot of different formatting options here. For example, I can highlight this piece of text here and I can change the font, the font size, I can make it bold, italic, underline, strike out. I can highlight text if I want. 
uh, change the font color. There's our indent buttons as well as some uh, paragraph alignment tools right here. If you've worked with Microsoft Word or actually any other Microsoft product, a lot of these buttons up here will be pretty self-explanatory to you. I can click right here and I can do bulleted lists or numbered lists. And again, just like in Microsoft Word, you're going to see there's drop down arrows to the right of each one of these buttons. I can click that and I can select a different bullet style. So I can go ahead and create a simple bulleted list. I'm going to go ahead and just type in some names here. And I could highlight these and I can change it into a numbered list very easily or I can change it to a different bullet style again very easily. Let's say I want to use um, a, smile, or a smiley face right there. There we go. Or I can choose this diamond here. The numbering also has different styles here. You can see the way those look there. I can choose my Roman numerals there and now I've got a numbered list. So again, all of these formatting uh, options up here should be fairly self-explanatory to you. You've also got different heading styles and heading levels right here. So I can come in here, and this is a heading on the page, and I can click Heading 1 to make it a heading on the page. Or if I had some subheadings, I could use Heading 2, Heading 3, whatever I want here. Now, one thing that a lot of people miss in the new ribbon inside of Microsoft Office is the ability to click, you know you can scroll here through the different styles, but there's also a bottom arrow down here. And if I click on that, you're going to see that it gives me all the different styles that are in there, including a clear formatting option, which I can get to from right here as well. So let's say you highlight this and you make you change the font color to uh, red, make it bold and italic, underline it, and you decide, you know what, I don't want any of that formatting. I just want to go ahead and go back to the plain generic text. I can click that clear formatting button right there and it takes me back to whatever the default is. And the same thing is true for this heading. If I wanted to remove the heading one style, I can click clear formatting and it goes away but applying it is as simple as just clicking on that again. So formatting your text, formatting your information is exactly the same in OneNote as it is in like Microsoft Word, for example. Finally, I'll go ahead and highlight these names up here in the uh, title area. I'll go ahead and highlight Salesman there, and I can go ahead and change the font color there to something different so that it appears a little bit better. Just like that. So that's how you format text and table content, as well as move information from other kinds of documents or uh, your web browser into a page inside of Microsoft OneNote.